So hey guys, uh, another test of um, uh, DCO AI, and today we have the focus on uh, uh, the um, on vehicle FSM or new mod made by Tally, um, invented by me uh, and uh, Dragon Company. The focus now is not as much as focusing on the infantry side of the fighting but more the vehicles uh, and how they react to combat in this very scenario. We tried it many, uh, quite many times before. Um, <clears throat> I have disabled uh, LAMPS FSM this time because, um, or Danger FSM I mean, uh, because it interferes with the script. It has its own vehicle reaction um, kind of um, FSMs. So, um, yeah, it interferes with, with how the vehicle reacts. Um, another thing is that we're using cuff vehicles and that can also re uh, interfere with the uh, uh, vehicle FSM script. Um, I don't see that the script is actually functioning right now. Uh, it could be that because I turned on off the bug tracking, uh, we don't see that uh, script um, uh, number, but it should be 0 0.97, this this fun, uh, version. If it doesn't show up, maybe I've done something wrong in, the, in, in it. We'll see. So we have uh, four Blue Force squads pushing up. Uh, one blue force squad is kind of uh, yeah already engaged from a distance, and we have a sniper team which has pushed up here on the right flank, and they, I think he overstretched a little bit, trying to reach for the cover over here. Vehicles are now pushed in from off force. We have our first vehicle uh, being called in by tactical comma link. Actually, we have two vehicles. So we have a BTR and a a uh, um, BMP. Driving skills fail. And uh, if this BMP is not stopped, it's going to create a world of problems for Blue 4. Um, there's a problem with the with the, the vehicles, the destroyed vehicles I've, I've put out here. It doesn't see them, as you see. They don't exist. So I have to kind of... Now it's stopped, so... Okay, so we have uh, the vehicle engaged now. I have to move it around that. It's really sad, but... Right. So we have uh, one HMG over here. We have an HMG uh, set up here. And uh, one more out here on the northern side in defense. Sniper got taken out eventually there and uh, yeah, the teams are being really harassed by that, by, that, by those two uh, vehicles there. Um, if we had squad FSM or uh, our next project up now, these squads would not be pushing out like this, they would be taking cover and uh, and hiding from that vehicle. Right, so uh, now we finally got our vehicles uh, moving here, we have two times, um, ah here we got one warrior coming up to counter the uh, BMP. Let's see how how it goes. 
The VMP sees the danger and he takes cover. But he gets taken down, probably by the second warrior. Uh, this time we got taken down by ATGM, I think. So let's see how the, the vehicle reacts to uh, contacts. Oh! BMP is, uh, is uh, engaging it. And it hasn't seen the BMP yet. He's more worried with uh, with HMG on top there. Okay, he pops smoke, and let's see if he actually get tries to get away from here. BMP actually got taken out, so we have a BTR. Yep, he's he's pulling away. He's engaging that uh, BTR now. The idea was to actually get the vehicle actually um, pulled back, uh, like reverse out of the situation, but that turned out to be a really like a nightmare. So kind of gave up on that. Uh, so for now, it's turning the, it's it's ass to the enemy. Um, yeah, let's see what happens with the other other vehicle. So the BMP is actually, like the Aura Warrior is actually pulling back. And we have a uh, Humvee flanking here and possibly pushing. There he reacted and he found that uh, he, he is kind of flanked. He's a light vehicle. If he sees AT, he will try to evade. But right now, he don't see AT. Artillery landing. Oh, that that RPG was close. Now, now he's reacting. He's engaging those uh, infantry in the forest. He's prioritizing AT first. He still feels safe about this. Maybe he doesn't realize that he is uh, a light vehicle because uh, it's a cup vehicle. Oh, okay. Well, whatever judgment he made was wasn't really to his benefit. Let's see. We have uh, four left of that squad, and we have like uh, functionally two squads left. The both the warrior warriors are. Uh, Exiting the scene. Oh, right, they're trying to avoid an ATGM uh, launcher somewhere here, but that's not going to be good for them. Do we still have any vehicles left? We still have a BMP left. Oh, strange sounds. And that's going to be a killer. If if that's not taken out, it's over. So basically, we we still have three vehicles on on op four. They're engaging uh, the warriors all over there. So the warriors are actually trying to get out of the the situation. They're cowering. Oh. Oh, ATGMs fired. Very close shots. I think that's the uh, the SM SPG uh, car down here. Oh wait, it actually took down the uh, took down both the car and the BMP. Oh, we still have uh, and Dishka up and running here. Oh wait, they pushed off the artillery gun. It's going to be hard to destroy. Okay, so uh, op four squads are pushing up now, showing more aggression. There's no more vehicles. We have two warriors left. Oh, those warriors aren't really considering friendly fire.
kind of wounded there. What hit him? Yeah, that was the that was the uh, artillery gun. So, do we have any one of the warriors left? We have one. Uh, both the warriors sitting here from from sniping from long range. Single unit here is is, is flanking. It seems to be he's our hero for the day. Fucking Rambo. Ha! <laughs> he's come coming for the HQ. <laughs> Still have a few guys left here. That tank needs to get taken out. This is something that I actually wanted to make a script for. Oh. Right. So that, that tank needs to go. But will the, will the warrior see it? Yeah, it, it will. And now you see he, he, this guy is reacting to the warriors, I guess. Seeing them coming up on their flank. I don't know why it's pushing with an artillery gun. Uh, I, I think it's because it doesn't realize that it's an artillery gun. I need to, we need to take a look at that. For sure. But he's pushing with it. And uh, the warriors are... Are behaving like they're light vehicles and I think actually um, that is the problem like they they behave like they're light vehicles because it, uh, it cup can't identify them so they're probably behaving like transports it could, it could look like that anyway there you have it uh, blue four lost on this one um, seems like we have a squad leader now it led to death Let's see what this this uh, we call this we call believes it's a tank definitely. Oh shit! He's he's gonna come in there and and ruin. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, it's just okay. He killed everyone. So yeah, there you have it. <laughs> um. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, like and subscribe. Um, uh, give us comments below what you think. And uh, if you have any suggestions or any uh, requests, you know, talk to us. We're a very open community. Um, for us, it's not about power, money, trying to be, uh, you know, I don't know. We we kind of leaving the ego at the door, front door. We're here to improve the community's experiences of AI. We stay away from politics. Um, and uh, most people here are really great guys uh, that are eager for developing AI. And and um, yeah, that's it really. Um, so if you think that you can con contribute something positive and uh, help out in any way, um, you know, join us, uh, join our Discord. Um, yeah, and you can also contribute. We, we're paying a little bit uh, from our own pockets here to get this project done. Uh, our coder is working 24-7 <laughs> and he's doing a really good job and he needs food on the table. If you guys really enjoy this, you know, uh, you don't need to pay much. Just give us a, like, a little bit uh, so we can pay this this guy making an awesome dream come true. So, see you on the next video, and thanks for watching.